What's up guys, that really gross guy here. We are back in Warframe after the new war update has dropped and oh boy, am I stoked for not only the quest, but all this new content, all this, all these new skins, Harl Prime, uh, the new Warframe, Caliban, super, super cool. But for this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the new Mesa Deluxe skin or the Mesa Sentient based skin um, you can see these things here um, I went into more depth on these bundles and whatnot when I did my Caliban video so if you want to check that out and kind of see a little bit more um, you know a little bit more details about these uh, feel free to do that but the sentient deluxe skin collection is what I purchased actually I technically purchased this one because it has a whole bunch of stuff but anyways I bought the Mesa Projectalist and the Volt Electrolist, but we'll take a look at the Volt skin in another episode. I'm just spoiler alert, it looks sick. Um, so does a Mesa one, but true. All right, so, um, you want to purchase this bundle 260 platinum? That's not too awful, not too bad. All right, so I'm gonna jump down, we're gonna take a look at this awesome, awesome skin. Um, it also has these uh aesthetic ephemera type deals uh we'll let's go in here attachments the protovire you can also purchase these these are accessories that actually get uh that kind of evolve over time and get get bigger or get crazier um and i mean i i think they're pretty pretty awesome but this is a separate bundle if you would like to purchase those as well or you purchase that big deluxe super edition you'll get this stuff with it as well but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to pop these off to get a closer look at the skin as we go but uh here we have the mesa projectilist super super cool um we have i put a couple weapons on there which i'm i'm, I'm slowly working on it um Magnus kind of looks sentient, so I might, you know, use that. Um, the Cronin, um, I, I need to farm up a Cronin Prime, but I, this, just for full transparency, the Tanfa Yamix is a Tenogen skin by Kakarot2812. Awesome, awesome skin. I bought this because more sentient skins are coming into the game. Uh, sentient frames, sentient, you know, uh, aesthetics are coming into the game. So I picked this up. So just full transparency, this is Tenogen content, not part of the bundle. Um, so I'm going to actually hide these invisible. Um, but if you are interested in an awesome sentient design, that's one option. So very, very cool. Uh, let me uh toggle when holstered um they look super cool on her back she looks awesome when she holds them as well but for the most part we'll uh we'll hide those for the aesthetic purposes we got here um and then there is the Sayandana part of the attachment deal let me go in appearance Sayandana. it looks like i actually like copied so let me go default um those are the default colors got that orange energy color pretty cool um, if I were to copy her main colors, it would it would switch, go to a blue energy color. But um, yeah, we'll go default for now. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to toggle these deals off just so we can slowly get a better idea of what the skin looks like um, as we go. So there we go. We're moving the Cyan Donna. Let's go down with the attachments. Um, chest piece. We will uh, actually let's let's save that one for last. The ephemera is probably the biggest and most vibrant, so uh, you can see lots and lots of energy stuff going on here uh, with this ephemera. Uh, this grows with the more focus you gain. Um, if we are to pop that off, you lose a whole lot of that energy color. Um, like I said, these grow over time, so um, you're not getting the full experience when you see these. Um, you will if you evolve them through those kind of challenges. Uh, we have the light pieces, 95 sentience defeated in order to kind of grow those. Uh, we'll pop those off real quick. And then we have the shoulder pieces, I think are pretty neat. Pop those off real quick. And then lastly is that chest piece, kind of neat. Excited to see what it looks like uh, fully, fully fleshed out. But here we have it, the Mesa Projectalist. 
Very, very cool. I, I, I think this looks fantastic, actually. Um, I love the way her arm pieces kind of tuck away and hide the firearms. Um, forgive me for not having the skin on the firearms. Um, this is a brand new Mesa, so I can't, I can't edit the uh, regulators um, right now. So they're staying their uh, prime variant, but there is a skin tied to the regulators that matches this design. Um, so just so you're aware, but I love the way that hides of those. Um, these shoulder pieces are very broad and pretty crazy. I am surprised this is Mesa. If you were to show this to me and uh, ask me which Warframe, I definitely would not think Mesa. Um, I don't, it's definitely an awesome skin, but I would have expected this skin on more of a, um, like a Saren or a, Hildren or something. Um, like I said, I don't hate it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. A little torn on it. Like I said, super cool skin. But for Mesa, it feels a little... I don't know. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I took these cool, like, drapey, spiky bits uh, on, on the legs and stuff like that. A little... Oh, just super cool. The, the uh, like, high heel design down there is pretty cool. Um, it has like a Von Vila's face almost. It's hard to not see it um, once you've seen it. Um, I don't know. It'll, it'll, it'll still look good, but now that I've seen it, it's like, oh, I can't not see it. So maybe a little chest piece or something, make that happen. But anyways, uh, and then the helmet, of course, with the energy deals hanging down the back. So oh, that's, that's pretty cool. But just in general, the devilish horns. Oh. I, I like this. I like this so, so much. Like I said, I just wasn't expecting it to be Mesa. Um, but we'll get in. Let's do some uh, take, you know, quick looks at some fashion frame. I'll come back and randomize on this slot for you guys so that we can uh, you know, uh, see it in some other different color schemes. But let's jump in, switching something over uh, a little bit. Uh, I don't want to say bland, well, bland kind of makes sense. Um, I, not too vibrant, not too crazy, kind of a bluish color um, around and about with some metallics in the middle, kind of a silver or nickelish color um, with some gold uh, going on there. I wanted this to kind of feel more um, robotic, so I kind of didn't go too crazy with this one. Um, to be honest, most of the time I randomize and then tweak things. Um, I randomize this pretty much as is i just kind of dulled the gold and darkened the silver to be more of a nickel just because it, it just i felt like it just looked a little better so i feel like it looks cool it's not meant to stand out it's kind of meant to look uh more realistic to uh like a warframe uh color color scheme color palette so um i like it but i'm not you know over the moon in love with it but uh it's there I try to get some variation in these skins so that uh, I pretty much can show something for everybody. Um, but yeah, maybe it's not for you, but hopefully some of the next ones will be. This one um, kind of stays on that same path of staying a little bit more true to Warframe color palette, but that metallic like gold kind of look in the in the chest and uh, you know arms and stuff like that. I felt I felt like looked pretty cool. Um, stood out quite a bit and then this emerald color I just I really really love I love the way this looks and uh, when it comes to colors um, kind of pairing with each other I just I just really like this so maybe that's not for you maybe you like something a little bit more vibrant but you know um, this one gets a little bit more vibrant still got that gold in there still got a really dark green kind of color scheme and uh, a, a bright metallic orange um, getting a little bit more vibrant, getting away from kind of lighter colors and duller colors, um, but still not super, you know, it's not neon, you know what I mean? But if you want to see neon, just wait, just when you see my Volt, the Volt, um, this one goes more towards the edge, you know, the edgier kind of design, except it's not black and red, it's kind of this black and orange, almost Halloween-esque um, some people might hate it. I hate it and love it at the same time. I felt like it deserved a place just to kind of show it because it is something very different. Um, I don't know. 
feel like there's going to be a niche group of people that love this and then most people will go ah it's way too crazy and uh bright i guess but i don't know it's there for somebody somebody's gonna like it but uh and then jumping into the f slot this one has to be my favorite um it's got a little bit of that dynasty feel um i've mentioned kind of a dynasty theme in the past uh this gold red um almost like iron man ish you know but uh this dull but sandy color um for the for the primary looks super super good um and i also noticed that i think it's this guy nope that's the metals oh actually that just the way that landed over here with this sandy metallic isn't too bad if that is too vibrant for you but i noticed that you could brighten this up to a white and that would look super good as well you know you take a bright bright color um you know iron man it or almost kind of kind of looks like a power ranger sort of um or a power ranger villain uh so the white looks pretty good keeping it with that gray looks pretty good and honestly um dark a dark color maybe even down here i think that looks well yeah that looks pretty good as well um so tweakable to your liking um i don't know i'd like to see what you guys think even i don't know Sandy color, I think, is what I'm going to go with for now. But it may end up being something like this eventually. Some some of these these color schemes have to wear on me or they wear off. So we'll see what happens. But pretty cool. Pretty cool. I like it. So anyways, we're going to jump over. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep a, the default color scheme. But just for the... Uh, just for the video, we'll go through and we will randomize um, some colors. And right off the bat, that's, uh, that's I actually kind of like that. Um, very vibrant purple, but I mean, there's some vibrancy out there. And I know people love that. I, in the right designs and right frames, I, I love it too. But the idea here is if you did not find something you liked from my color scheme, that's actually pretty cool. Um, hopefully the randomizer will help you with that. You see something you like, you can pause the video and try and copy it down the best you can. Um, looks super, super cool. But uh, if some of you may be set at this point and you may, uh, you may move on if you would like. Uh, I do appreciate you stopping on by and checking out the video. Ooh, almost like a, oh, I can't put my finger on it. It's like, like Xenoblade end end game end runner uh, zone of enders i don't know it's something something it's just oh. anyways if you are gonna head out i appreciate you stopping on by uh and checking the video out um i'm going to do the volt skin of course so expect that coming very very soon after this video i've also done the haro prime and caliban so if you would like to see those as well um those videos are out for you so i appreciate you guys uh if you would like to subscribe you can easily see this type of content regularly without having to jump through hoops to find new content so Anyways, thank you for watching. Those of you who want to stick around and see the little randomizer, uh, thank you very much for uh, for sticking around and enjoying the video. Um, trying to find something you like. I try to do my best for you guys to see something that you enjoy. Without sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. I purchase like in my Caliban video, I bought an extra Caliban because. I ran out of fashion frames to show you guys and I wanted all these color schemes. So I do that pretty often. So if you would like to support the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. All I have to do, drop a like, you know, comment down below would be awesome or subscribe would be awesome as well. I did purchase this bundle with my own money. I did also purchase the Haro Prime with my own money. I do not regret it. So don't think that I did this just for the video. Um, I like supporting the devs and, uh, you know, but if you would like to help out, you know, just through those little avenues of liking and subscribing, all that stuff, help the video get out there for the algorithm. Um, it will help me uh, continue to make content and uh, potentially dump money into the game. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I like this. I like this. Sorry, I've been hovering on the skin for or that color scheme for a little while, but um, that was not too bad. It's kind of neat. Um, where were all these skins when I was randomizing this for the first time? First time I went through and randomized to try and find color schemes uh i just i wasn't hitting any good colors but all of a sudden i was hitting like four or five in a row it's actually not too bad either 
Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it through uh, rose-colored glasses. Um, but that's pretty nice as well. Pretty much a, a, a gray and gray on silver with this crazy kind of copperish or bronzish kind of color. Um, I like it. I like it. I don't know if I would keep it though. So let's keep going. Um, that last one was pretty cool. This one's pretty cool. Dark Lotusy. You know, kind of gives me Lotus vibes. So I like that quite a bit. Um, keep going. Keep going. Oh, uh, that's not bad. It's not bad. All right. Ooh, white and blue. Got some gold in there. It's pretty cool. You got, you guys know I like my white and blues. I almost want to save it, but let's just let's just keep going. I can always come up with a white and blue myself. Um, oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Oh, it is a little similar to uh, to that one, so I think I'll keep going, and a little similar to that one, so I think I'll keep going. But ooh. Ooh, I think. I'm not gonna lie. It's not all that different, but I like the light primary color. Mmm. Oh boy, I kinda wanna kinda wanna keep it. I might get rid of this one then. I might get rid of this one then. I do like it, but I don't love it. So I'm gonna keep that one. Let's go randomize on this one. Oh boy, I might have to... I, I farmed this Mesa Prime just for this video. Uh, it took me forever, by the way. Um, I already had, I think, two of the pieces, but my luck was terrible farming... Uh, was it her... No, I had her blueprint. I forgot. It was the rare one. I had terrible luck getting it, but I farmed it just for this video for you guys. Um, I should have I should have bought one either on the market or I should have bought one through the uh, prime resurgence but anyways missed opportunity i'll probably buy another one for some of the tenogen stuff because all right um that's not bad that's pretty cool but yeah uh i'll go a couple more clicks i don't want to get too crazy uh to spend too much time dwelling on this especially when this volt skin that you guys are gonna see is insane i mean I feel like this is just as good, but I stumbled across some super duper cool colors with my uh, my bolt design, and uh, we'll just say it's similar to this color scheme. Um, so I think I'm gonna leave it here. Really excited to show you guys that video as well. So, um, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, I appreciate you guys. I really, really do. Um, I'd like to make content more frequently. Um, I have been. Uh, I, I, my new job allows me to make content a little bit more frequently than I used to. Um, and I'm hoping as long as I can get a good schedule down, I can, uh, I can stay, stay frequent. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay frequent. <laughs> I uh, appreciate you stopping on by and I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. Blah.